Make sure you use the instructions that come with the chain with your jack stands before using them. Shock the rear wheels. Crack the lug bolts, all five of them, and then take the wheel off after you jack it up. It'll slide right off. From, this is the control arm. From here, you can see the middle ball joints and also the bushing carrier in the back, which we will also be replacing. This is the lower ball joint. We have another view of the entire control arm, the middle ball joint here, and bushing carrier in the back. On your model, most likely, the nut holding in the lower ball joint will not come all the way off because this will interfere. Take it as high as you can before proceeding to the next step. If it does come off, go ahead and take it off completely. In order to remove the ball joints, the lower and the middle, we're going to be using this ball joint fork, which is nothing more than a wedge with a space in the middle to provide leverage. Uh, it should, should it only cost 10 to 15 dollars at your local parts store. And if for some reason you're wanting to reuse the ball joints, don't use the ball joint fork because it'll tear the ball joints apart in the process of removing them. You will know if your ball joints are bad from a combination of things. One, they may actually be cracked. If you notice here, it's split open. You do not want that. If your ball joints are split, you need to replace them. And also, if they're not split, you can just run your finger along them. And if you gather much grease on your finger, then that shows that they're leaking, because the grease is supposed to be contained in the inside. If grease is leaking, it's only a matter of time before all of it escapes, and they won't work anymore. The middle one up here has a less noticeable crack and also is leaking much grease. So I can say, rub my finger here, much accumulation. Now we're going to insert the ball joint fork right above the rubber area here and below the metal here. Then using a hammer, drive it in a little bit. Use a sledgehammer or other another large device. Put it on the other side of where you're going to be hammering in the fork so that all your effort doesn't just go into moving the whole joint here. You'll need a friend for this. Is it going? Yep. I'm going to need it. So now that the, the nut is removed from the middle ball joint, the only thing holding it up right now is the bolt on the lower ball joint and the bracket back here. So there is some angle friction going on up here between the bolt going up into the car. So just in case, make sure you have a sturdy hold on here when you take this bolt off. Because if this thing falls on you, it's going to hurt. Now we're going to remove the carrier back here. There's two bolts we're going to remove.
Right down here, we have the new control arm and the old control arm. These are thread and bushing protectors, just so you don't damage before you actually get them on. And this is our new bushing carrier. So we're just gonna use some kind of silicon to lube this up and push this right on. If you want to do this how the manufacturer recommends, if, if you're uh, doing this on a BMW, they recommend you only use a kerosene based oil that they can provide. So if you're with a different car manufacturer, you should probably check with them and get that. But if you're like us, we're just going to use Silicon Art TV, which should be harmless. You only have an hour or two before the silicon dries and just makes it harder to put it on, so make sure you don't put the silicon on and just walk away. Put the bearing on the put the bushing on first. There there's a recess side to this and a non recess side. Make sure that the recess side is pointing out, which it is just a slight angle, but you can see it's faced outwards. Use two new lock, locking nuts uh, on the lower and the middle bearings. Go ahead and put the lower one in first and tighten the nut. Make sure the stabilizer bar right here is ready to go back in it, so I'll have that in position. We're just putting these on loosely for now. So that's how you replace a control arm and the bushing carriers. And Remember, whenever you change parts having to do with steering on the front end, make sure you get an alignment as soon as possible. Thanks for tuning in. So again, any questions, feel free to comment below. Do what I can. Thanks.